Hey folks, this is Deco here, and welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. So today we're going to be running Riley's story. I want to run her before Claire because I'd like to give her a decent shot at escaping alive, given that Claire makes Riley's escape somewhat, uh, fatal. We also have this story objective that I was surprised to see because we already did her story objective, I thought, which was escaping through the uh, consciousness upload. So this should be interesting. We'll go ahead and we'll do it. So conveniently, we already have all the weapons that we need in our um, mule within the game, so I don't actually need to bring anything, which is so cool. So I'm going to take a bunch of ammo, because of course I am, because ammo is great. And for her especially, I want to take a bunch of disruptor batteries, because she can't open doors as it is. Oh, shotgun shells, maybe some Q-beam cells, whatever. I know I've got lures and spores, I've got some anti-rad, we're going to take a whole bunch of delay loops. Oh, that's so expensive. I think five will be sufficient. I don't remember if I need a coagulating gel, so let's just take it, right? And for you, let's keep taking the Artrex. Yes, it's not a great use of our points, probably, but it is extremely convenient to be able to move around quickly. And she's already got a psychoscope that I always forget to use. So, does this look good? Some pistol rounds, some batteries, a couple of shotgun shells. Well, a couple more shotgun shells, Q-beam, delay loop. I constantly end up getting myself lacerated, so... Okay, that looks good. And for chipsets. So for her, we're definitely going to want the reactivator. We'll just get the expensive one. And... Oh, that's neat. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the uh, potentializer to get her side of regen. That's a nice one. And should we get the microminer? Mm, yeah. That's okay. All right, I think that's a good setup. Let's go ahead and let's do it. Okay, so step one, let's get all of our stuff out of our mule. Hey there, buddy. Good news, I'm here to grab stuff from you. Okay, um, we probably won't need this in an emergency situation. So let's take wrench, pistol, disruptor, and gun. I don't think I'm gonna need the Q-beam right off the top. Although I could just take it. That's probably not a bad idea. Mmm, I don't need these at the moment. What else could I take? Oh, I've got some anti-red. Okay, good. Well, that's nice. Oh, let's take the glue gun. Because that's nice to have. Lures. Ooh, I wish I had brought more than one spore. That's okay, though. Suit repair kit. Should I use neuromods for you? I do not think that I have the things that I want to use Neuromods on. Let's take it real quick and let's take a look. So what does my Neuromod situation look like? Yeah... These are the things that I want. Mimic Matter 2. Oh, that's tempting. Mmm... Well, let's... Let's think about that. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to grab all the ammo. Uh, come here, you. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Disruptor batteries. Shotgun shells. Okay. Alright, and let's get rid of you because you drive me absolutely crazy. Mimic companion. And let me go ahead and get my guns set up the way I expect them to be. Alright. I never seem to have... Um, never seem to have things on the wheel in quite the order I expect. Okay, let's get your objective set up correctly. So... Really? What is this? Okay, well, we can go find out. We got time. So, let's just go do it. We... We're still in corruption level one. The moon shark doesn't exist at the moment. Well, I mean, I'm sure it exists, it's just not anywhere near me. Another memory marker. That's interesting. We should have time to do this unless it's super complicated. I mean... Exiting with her consciousness is really quick. All we really need to do is run up and get things activated. I guess we do have to check our email and a few other dumb things, but it's no big deal. Well, let's get on inside here. I honestly don't know if there's a faster way to get up here. I've never really seen one. There probably is, and if so, I apologize. But this is the way I know how to go, so this is the way we're going to go. Good old Artrax, saving me all kinds of time. I honestly did not know that you could do that until I actually played with it partway through this, um, through the DLC. Which is slightly embarrassing. Okay, where is your... 
Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on here. Well, that's not good. Hey, Riley. It's Noel Benson. I think we're... Ah, Benson. You're new, aren't you? Well, I... Of course you are. Your shuttle arrived on December 3rd, a transfer from our north office. Before that, you worked as an adjunct on various unremarkable grant projects, none of which entitles you to address me in such a familiar way. Ouch. I didn't mean... It's Madam Director or Dr. Yu. Choose one. Uh, yes, Doc... Uh, Director Yu. Uh, please forgive me. Now, what do you have for me? I just wanted to report that the crater towers are ready for a full-scale test. Towers? Did you solve the power supply? Uh, yes. W well, nearly so. The control modules burn out after each activation. Uh, but the results are positive. All the Typhon in the vicinity are completely destroyed Ooh. all at once. What about human subjects with Typhon-based neuromods? We ran several tests on P00. Once the subject had more than a few neuromods installed, they were destroyed. Same as the Typhon. Huh. Good work, Dr. Benson. I want to activate the towers myself for the full-scale test. Yes, Madam Director. I believe Dr. Boyle is on her way right now with the control modules. Hmm. That's strange. Dr. Boyle? Claudette? A tower, you say? How cool is that? But I'm full of neuromods. I don't really want to do that. Did that give me a new objective? Okay, and once the tower has two control modules, I can activate it. A spectacular... I never let the replace Tython... Oh, that's cool. I don't think I'm going to do it. Unfortunately. As cool as that sounds. Because that is not going to be a good use of my time, and I would need four modules. And how many do I have? I don't think I have any, actually. I mean, yeah, I can make them. They're not that expensive. Opening. Well, I say that. They're kind of expensive. Um, Control module. Yeah. Eh. Nah. I'm here to complete all five in one pass, so that's what we're going to do. As cool as this probably is... That's what we're doing next time. Okay. That'll be fun. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a complete run after I complete this nice objective, but I may come back and do kind of a little mini run just so we can see what's going on there. Yeah, hey, look. Typhon detected. Who could that be? Zap. On our way through. Everything's broken, thankfully. Oh, it's such a hassle not being able to open things anymore, but it's okay. I don't mind. Alright, off we go. I wish I brought more ammo. But that's okay. We got it. Okay, so let's head it up and let's check our emails. It's a little silly that I can't just like immediately run up and do it. Yeah, things are mad at me. Yeah, you guys. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna have to deal with them next time, but not at the moment. There shouldn't be anything spawned, so let's just move fast, right? Time is precious. More correctly, time is sim points. Which are precious. So, we're going to keep being careful. Okay. Don't need any food this time. I actually have the mass driver all the way set up. That's going to be pretty nice. All that we're going to have to do with VJ is just run on up there and do our thing. Okay, now I did not clear this office, so I need to be a little more careful. And by that I mean probably not careful at all. More glue canisters, that's fine. Enter password. Another care for you, we already knew about that. Okay, so now... Riley. Let's check her office quick. Things on Talos 1 are becoming untenable. Yes, yes they are. Ooh. It's time to set contingencies we've discussed into motion. I need you to copy your... Everything you've got onto the vault op operator I sent you. The research, connectons, everything. Morgan was right. The Typhon are all linked. Which means whatever's happening up here will likely spread to you. If it hasn't already. It has. And it should go without saying that we keep the board out of the loop on this. They'll find out soon enough anyway. 
Get it done. We'll talk again soon. Oh, and Riley, be careful. Thanks, buddy. I'm fairly certain you've got at least one Chasma mole working for you. Ah, uh, yep. That is true. Um, okay, let's go ahead and let's plonk this up here. Got another stun gun, that's pretty cool. Can't go wrong with that, right? Actually, is it better than my current one or not? I didn't actually see. Stun gun... Elite 88 and Elite 150. So this has recharge. Ooh, much faster recharge. Ooh, neat. And weapon durability. Ooh, cool. Okay, so that's the one I want, for sure. Yeah, let's get that one equipped correctly. Okay. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and upload all our data. Is this really going to be this fast? Okay. So that's actually all I have to do. Before you launch that operator, I need you to take one last precaution. You have the emulation tech Morgan was tinkering with. Use it. Copy yourself. I know it seems morbid, but we can't shrink from the reality that you might not make it off the moon. Hello. This will ensure at least something is left of our family. No one else is equipped to deal with what's coming. I'm putting Talos One in the dark after this. You won't be able to reach me. Hopefully, we'll see each other Earthside. Hmm. Goodbye, cousin. Well, it's not gonna work that way. Okay. Well, if I can just leave directly, I suppose that's fine. So, what do I have to do? Is just use the operator, right? Okay, well, let's toss all our stuff back into our mule. Uh, no. quickest ever, Oops. maybe. So, which is the good stun gun? This one. We're not even going to bother to pass the other one forward. Well, let's just toss everything over here. That was kind of ridiculously fast, wouldn't you say? I suppose I don't really need to carry the junk over, but that's fine. Okay, so let's plonk this over there. Here you go. Ta-da! And let's hit the road. Oh, there was something on the floor that I missed. Hopefully it wasn't spare parts. That's okay, Starting though. Procedure. Personality capture and emulation. Source, Riley Yu, Pythias Facility Director. Target, Minerva 465, Data Vault Class Operator. Capture and transfer complete. Neat. Additional instructions found. Starting procedure. Hey! Erase you dot bat. Destroying source subject. Hey, that's just rude. I wonder if I've made it impossible for me to do Claire's objective now. No, 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 no. All she needs to do is get an escape pod. That's fine. The others don't require any particular protocol. Okay. Well, that was probably not worth the Micromonitor points. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is 7,000. Okay, that's fine. Uh, next up, let's do... Let's do Andreas. That's pretty quick and easy. And for you, again, all I need is some bullets. I don't think I need any... Actually, I don't need any of these. Uh, just shotgun shells, I think. Because I was sad that I didn't have enough. And we need a couple of spores, because I wanted those. And I guess a couple more delay loops. You can't go wrong with that. And I'm going to keep taking our tracks because I think they're cool. And I don't want to use the control module. Actually, you know what? This could be kind of cool. Is I'll use the control module. Um, we'll replicate four of those. And then... Oh, no, no. We can't trigger. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. And for you, I guess we're not going to take the micro miner. That didn't turn out well. And then the optimizer is what I expected, right? No, not the optimizer. The potentializer. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, recycle Voltaic Phantom with a recycler charge. Ah, pass. Okay. Alright, welcome back. Let's go ahead and let's grab our stuff again. <laughs> this seems hey. a little silly doing this over and over and over again, but I guess it's okay. Okay, how's that look? That looks about right. T-rations, that's fine. Skeletal repair kit, I don't need that on me. Uh, okay. That looks pretty good. 
Let's go ahead and let's get the Mimic up so I don't have to murder him messily. Because, as funny as that is, it's really infuriating. Okay, and let's get the weapons assigned. Do I not have any glue ammo on me? Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, I don't have any glue ammo. What? Did I accidentally leave that on Riley? I think I might have left it on Riley. It's okay, it doesn't make any, any difference whatsoever. Alright, so now for you, we're going to head on through the Typhon Gate. So, let's just head on over. Should be pretty quick. This is uh, not a bad achievement to get once I've got everything unlocked and ready. This is going to be pretty easy. There's still interesting things to do, obviously, but... My goal at this point was to just get the five-person achievement. I'm expecting a whole bunch of points for that, too. And if I can complete any extra objectives, I'll probably do them with VJ, just because I think... I don't know. He starts with a shotgun, so he's got to be pretty cool, right? Even though I'm not going to use his shotgun, because I have a better shotgun. It's still pretty cool to have it, right? Oh, there's operators. Okay, well that surprises me slightly. We're just going to go ahead and ignore them, because we don't care. Yeah, I could zap them, but whatever. Ooh, I wonder if that means there's a technopath over there somewhere. Yeah, well, there's something over here. What's over here? Oh, I'm Typhon. Right, 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 right. I don't even know what I'm thinking. I'd already, like, put myself into VJ's headspace. Which is obviously incorrect. Okay. And let's put this back on... We'll get a Mimic up as soon as we get in here. Okay, let's do it. Good afternoon, Hello, Mimic. Atheist. Nice to see you again. And we'll just have this on just a offensive you, spell so I don't forget. Are kept in the storage room just off the main lobby. Yes, yes, yes. I know where they are. Yes, yes, yes. Telepath, people are angry. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Makes no difference whatsoever. All we're doing is the five exit. So we're just basically just heading right in here and hitting the button. This is also a very quick exit once everyone is set up. Okay. Oh no! I screwed it up! Oh no! Oh man! I blew it! Okay, well... That's okay. We can go ahead and we can just go get these skate pods. That's fine. Placeholder. It turns out anyone can go ahead and uh do one of the, um, any of the exits, so that's fine. Alright, um, escape pods. So they are also in the lab, which is right here. So that's kind of convenient. Ouch. Ouch indeed. Get out of the way. I'm not mad at you exactly, I'm just mad. Anything good in here? A glue charge? Eh, we'll pass that forward. Skeletal repair kit? Eh. This is really quite a bit more stuff than we need. Okay, so what's in here? Let's quietly stick our head in first. If it's just, like, operators, then that's no big deal. If it's something nasty like a technopath, I'm gonna pull out the blue beam. Hey, what did I just say? It's something nasty like a technopath. Okay, dude, get out of here. Oh, no, wait, I need his Q-beam. I mean, come right back. Okay, so, what do I not need here? I don't need that, I don't need that. Um, I don't actually need these, either. Uh, here, have some junk. I just need to get things sorted because I need a Q-beam, which is, ooh, not in very good shape. And did I already take the power cells accidentally? All right, here's my glue gun canisters. Oh, yep, I already did. Okay. Yeah, 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 shh. Let's all play the Be Quiet game, okay? You go first. All right, so... Kinetic Blast... Q-beam. Yeah. It's a crummy one, but it should be sufficient. Okay, Technopath, where'd you go? Okay, so it's upstairs. So let's just go ahead and let's get up there. And we'll try to blast it from up there. It may not go well, but we'll do our best, right? Right. Let's keep our corruption level nice and low so I don't forget about it. Not that that's ever happened. Ha ha ha. I wish I had Psychoshock available to me, but I do not. So here we are. It's probably not necessary to sneak up on it, but... In fact, it's probably a bad idea, because it's going to give it a bigger chance to escape.
Fire, fire, fire. It's gonna shoot me. Ta-da! Tactile path killed. Easy. Exactly as I planned it. Ta-da! And we get a delay loop and a bunch of organs and other things I'm not gonna use. Whoa! Did I really just set myself on fire? Wow. Nice job, dude. Okay, let's check for crates quick. Any blueprints like the one that I already missed. I am Typhon, blah blah blah. Claire can get out through the portal. Yeah, that's what that's what we'll have her do. Anti-rad, sure. Why not? Alright, let's zap the door open here. One escape pod. Check. And let's go ahead and let's toss everything back into our mule. Like, this thing is just... It drives me absolutely crazy, but it's really quite cool. There we go. Come here, you. Okay, so... Um, we can just transfer out, can't we? No, not exactly. Okay, I, I shouldn't have put all this junk in elsewhere. So, okay. Navigation ship. Door closed. And launch pod. See you later. Alright, so far so good. Right. Okay, next up then. Claire. So, once again, we don't really need to take anything. We didn't even use any bullets this last time. Lures, uh, loops, nope, medkits, neuromods. Let's take an Artrex. That'll make me feel good about myself. And that's, that's it. That's all she needs. And... Do I want anything here at all? Poly shield. Sure. Sure. That's all we need. All the rest of her weapons are already on board. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Alright, Mr. Mule. Let's grab my weapons pretty, please. Ta-da! Actually, there's some things in here I don't need. I don't need that. Don't need that. Is that it? I just want to have some space to be able to pick things up. Uh, flexi foam. I'm not really sure why I keep bringing those. And I don't need the spare parts. I'm not planning on replicating anything, but it's there if I need it. Right? Right. Okay, this is fine. Um, oh, I don't actually need that, but it's okay. Two, three, four, five. Sure. Now, why don't you go away? Let's replace you with something much less annoying. Oh, she actually has uh, Phantom Shift. I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. Oh, do you have anything I want to spend Neuromods on? Remote Manipulation? No. Phantom Shift 2? Nah. Stealth, Zeek Attack, Punching, Piloting. Nah, this is fine. Let's just go ahead and let's just do this. Oh, let's set the right objective. So for you now, we are going to go through the Mimic Portal. Yep, not a problem. It's merely a quick hack away, right? Come on. We And same thing as last time, I'm not going to bother to deal with any Typhon in the middle. That can become VJ's problem, quite frankly. He can handle it. He's serious business. I have faith in him. I wonder, I wonder if other people can use the Psychic Cutter, that cool whatever the thing is called. The, like, mystery knife that she has that also glows purple. On the other hand, wrench. Come on, man, it's a wrench, right? How can you say not hitting things with a wrench? It's not as good as a crowbar, but it is pretty good. Alright, so much running. Okay, in we go. Alright. Same thing as last time. I'm just gonna ignore the baddies over there. Yeah, they know I'm here, but I don't care. I'm not gonna be here long enough for you to make any difference whatsoever. Unless you've managed to, like, make it around the corner here somehow. Which you have not. So therefore, I can just ignore you. Boy, these escapes, once I've got them all set up, are really nice and quick. Ooh, should I open up this door? No, nobody's coming through here. 
so it doesn't matter. Okay, um, well, let's just get this hacked quick. He says confidently. As though he's good at this and not objectively, like, terrible. Come on. Oh, look at this. Yay! That's fast for me. Okay, um... Let's stabilize the gate first. Then we'll open the door. Stabilized. Stable. Open door. Mule! Oh god. Wouldn't that Hello. have been a fell blow? Alright. Yeah, psychostatic cutter, blah blah blah. Opening. Alright, in five. we go. See you later. Okay, so I'm probably dumb, tick -tock, tick -tock. but I don't know where the Mimic Portal actually goes. That was probably in an email that I didn't read very carefully. Okay, sounds good. Free points. Alright, last and certainly not least is VJ. Once again, I don't need anything. Anything at all. I'm taking more shotgun shells anyway. Oh no, wait, he's already got some. So, let's just undo that. And he comes with an Artrax. So, uh Increases glide speed. Let's try that. I've never tried that. And let's take a poly shield. Sure. Why not? Alright, let's head out. Okay, stuff up. Let's grab that real quick. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't want to take this other shotgun with me. So let's go ahead and let's drop it. Come on. Drop. There we go. Okay, and let's grab everything out of here. There we go. I just want to have the Q-Beam on board because we're going to end up needing it. So let's just go ahead and let's just have that all ready. Right? Right. Alright, off we go. Wait, why are the chipsets installed? They should be installing automatically. But I was worried about that. Like, what if they aren't? Okay, so let's see how this goes. Um, doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Oh, um, yeah, that's, that's better, I guess. Oh, yeah, that is better. Okay, cool. That's good. That'll save us some time. Oh, yeah, I better set up my objective. Uh, mass driver. Not a problem. Off to the moonworks we go. So long, dead guys. Now, this will actually be a little more interesting, because although I poked my hat up top, I didn't really look for things. I was just looking with, um... Oh no, oh no! Corruption level! I have, like... Infinite corruption level goes away, and even that I almost forgot. That would have been really incredibly embarrassing. That's only happened, like, what? On almost every single run? Doing it again would be humiliating, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna not do that. Alright, in we go. Conditions. Before I get too carried away, do you have any neuromods I want to use? Ooh, you have lots of things. Um, wow, look at them all. Uh, yeah, we should definitely be using these. Why don't you go ahead and get firearms one? That's a good one. I mean, we're leaving after this, you know, right? So, and go ahead and get conditioning, because that's super cheap. I don't know why I never got that. Natural lifespan increased. Yeah, I always thought that was funny. Mobility. Yes, let's just get that. I like that. And... Oh, neat. I've never used this. Let's see what it does. Now, is that an ability, like, on my bar? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, look how much faster I am. Oh, this is great. I absolutely love this. Alright, off we go to the master driver. Hello, engineering operators. Yeah, there's going to be baddies in here, but we don't care about them, do we? No, we don't. Let's just make sure you're not Gate in the way. In three, two, one. I shouldn't have left these guys up. Let's get up nice and close, and let's test our new button. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. Neat! I don't know why I'm bothering to look at these things. I mean, we already know what we're doing. Well, that was neat. 
I've never used combat focus before. I like it. Okay, and I've looted a few of these, right? Did you have anything? Control module? No, we don't need that. Killed an etheric mimic. Yep. Whoa, jeez. Huh. <laughs> okay. Easy there, boy. This thing really goes. Oh, he's so fast. This is going to be so convenient later on. Anti-rad. You can never have too much anti-rad. I realize that I have everything I need, but this is the last guy. I've got lots of loops, and I just want to check and see if there are any more plans around. Because those would be extremely helpful to have. So I just need to check all these corners. Sorry. It's neither wildly exciting nor easy to watch because everything kind of gets blurry. It is disappointing to me how kind of crummy performance is. Only in the DLC. This works nice and smoothly um, when I'm playing the base game, but the DLC is just... It's a mess. I don't know, man. Okay, well... Should I get rid of some cystoids? Yeah, let's get rid of the cystoids. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Bullets. Uh, glue charge, I don't need that. Crate? No, you're just a boring crate. Har. Get it? No, never mind, it's not funny. Whoa, hello, Weaver. Hey, we can get that extra objective now, because now there's a Weaver for us to zap. So let's go ahead and let's just zap it. Sneak, sneak. We don't want to get too close, because it'll notice us and throw cystoids at us. Just like that. Go away, cystoids. No typhoon detected. Okay. Well, that was neat. Well, we are rocking this. Spare parts, don't care. Let's keep using my delay loops because, you know, reasons. And it doesn't look like there's anything else down here. Where does this door go? Fueling station. Um, that's probably not anything interesting. Nah, let's not worry about it. Should we try killing one of these things? I've never done that before. Let's give it a try. Like, we're already here, right? Oh, okay, so just dapping it is sufficient. At least with the upgraded gun. Oh! Oh, that's right! We read about this! Like, once upon a really, really long time ago. And I wish I hadn't taken that tracking bracelet because it means that I can't, I can't like, ever get rid of it. Oh, hello! Medkit? No, I've already got that. Eh. Nah. Still, that's cool. Note to self, blow up that harvester and get free stuff from it. Okay, well, let's head on up. Get the mass driver ready. This is all nice and clear. So far, so good. We'll use another delay loop before I head down. Okay, anything up here? Transcribe. Um, nope. And let's lose your delay loop just out of a sheer sense of cussedness. Because why not? Alright, mass driver controls. Initiate launch sequence. Ready? Steady? Go! Oh wait, I gotta hit it one more time. Alright, mine access. Right? Don't worry. The container is secure. And I will be secure momentarily. Well, this is super easy with him. Because he's just kind of stupid fast. Well, here we are. Ta-da! And now the slightly worrying part. This is exactly how this is supposed to work, in case you were wondering. I noticed that, uh, unlike Morgan, he manages to not get hit in the head by a computer part. Good for him. He's so smart. Oh, I should have taken a microminer because we would have gotten extra points from the achievement. That's okay. Here we are in space. With a corpse. Hopefully all this goes well for you. Alright. We escaped. Yay! And I got my achievement. No one left behind. Huzzah! 13,000 points. Hey, and we've got a message. I imagine this will be something along the lines of crew expendable. This is Basilisk to Module 13. Yellow? I'm just checking in. You have only one order remaining. What you've accomplished? It's incredible. Thank you. This last one is going to be tough. 
but once it's done, your contract is fulfilled. Neat. You'll have no further obligation to Kazma, nor will Kazma have any to you. You understand? Just be sure... Uh, just make sure you're ready. I get ya. For your last order, I mean. That's all I wanted to say. No obligation to Last you either. Out. Yup. I get that. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Well. Let's hop back in here and let's see what that objective is. I know we still have the one from Riley. Maybe I needed to do that in order to finish everything else up. Hmm. Okay, well, it doesn't say here. Unfortunately, I have to be, like, in-game before I can see the objectives, which is a little annoying. Or actually, P for view progress. Yes, so I need to complete the director's test. Okay, well, you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll do that next time, because that's going to take a little bit of setup. So, very exciting times. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.